Hello! Welcome back to It's What I Do. Today's video is the last one in the series on the upflow filter. So it should be quite good. Right, let's get on with it. Okay, in the last video, um, you saw me build this cabinet. Well, last night I managed to go a little bit further. So, open the doors. And there we see the upflow filter. It's all installed and working. It's been running about ooh, 12 hours, I suppose. Ooh, let me just unbolt the bottom door. There are some changes I've got to make, and I did have some problems. Um, I should really have filmed them for you, but I was desperate to get it in place and done. So, first problem I had was, as I suspected on the, on the previous videos, um, I mentioned it, these bulkhead connectors for the airlines um, wouldn't seal against the pipe. So I had to heat the pipe up and put them on and squash the pipe into shape if you like. So yeah, they leaked, which was a bit of a disappointment. And unfortunately that they're, they're plastic, so you can't tighten it up enough to, to pull the washers into it tight. So yeah, can't say I'm overly impressed um, with those. So yeah. Now the, the second issue, I've got to come down here. Oh, I don't know how well you're going to see this because the lighting's not particularly good. But the the reducers on the pressure the pipe here, um, I've got a little bit of a leak. But that's I don't know, doesn't show up very well in there. Let's just pull that out. That little bit of water in the corner it is all that's come out in the. Uh, 12 hours or so it's been running so it's not drastic it's just a minor weep which may well seal itself so I'm not overly concerned with that one um, next issue this pump it's a uh, Helena Halia Halia okay, say it right pump it's only a 35 litre a minute pump which isn't man enough to move this media doesn't do it so I've ordered a new pump I've ordered a 60 litre pump um, whether I'll use the 60 litre on here or on the pond I don't know but yeah they won't it 30 litres this this little pump here 30 litres doesn't move the media enough barely moves it at all you actually get more movement from the air being sucked into the pipe without anything connected to it. So, um, yeah, not so good. So I need to I need to get that pump sorted out when I when I get it. The other thing is, I think I've put too much media in. I think I need to take about six inches of media out of there, so it's, so it's no more than half full, and that will give it a lot more room to to boil and move. And the, the final thing that I'm probably going to change at some point is I'm probably going to put a non-return valve on this pipe because uh, it's too easy to forget to turn off the... I mean, I've got a valve. I've got a valve there, but it's too easy to forget to turn it off. So, yeah. So, that's the upflow filter and the state of play with that. Um, as you can see... This shelf here, uh, I cut in half so that I could put it around the pipe so just to give it that little bit of support and stop it from falling over. I mean, it's stand the full weight is standing on this shelf here. There's no weight on this at all, on this one at all. No weight on it. So yeah, that's uh, pretty good. Right, some of the other changes I had to make Ooh. to actually get this upflow filter in. 
Well, the first one, the obvious one, is the pump. Um, I don't know if you can see it down the bottom of the pond there. Bit of a job to see because of the reflection. But yeah, I had to change the pump. I had two pumps running in the pond before. Um, one was a 5,000 litre and the other one was a 6,000 litre. And they just wasn't man enough um, to get the water up that high. So that pump there is an Evolution Aqua Vary pump, 20,000 litres, which is way over the top for the size pond that I've got, but it gives me the opportunity to do other things and it gives me the head height. At the moment, let's have a look here. Um, I don't know if you can see that, we're running at 60 watts, which is 32% power, which is like nothing. But it's giving me the head height to uh, to run the upflow filter. Right, so, as I said, I had two pumps in there, and they were on a box, um, a little, little header tank turned upside down. I've never liked having my pumps on the floor of the pond because uh, years ago um, I had a pipe leak and it virtually emptied my pond so yeah don't want to do that so I had it about I don't know 10 inches off the bottom of the pond well I've changed that and I've put in a float switch see the float switch there so if the water drops it shuts off the pump so it's only going to drop um, about six six to ten inches before it shuts the pump off I've also had to move the heater because that was was behind the um, Avery's where the cabinet is so I've had to move that around here I've had to lower the um, stand it sits on which I made um, so I've had to lower that we've got under here an Awazi splitter um, which takes a two inch pipe from the pump into the splitter and then two one and a half inch pipes coming off of it and you can control the the flow. Oh. You can see. Wow, that's a bit of rock falling over. You can control the flow with these. So yeah, that's pretty good. Um, we've got a, a, I don't know how you say it, Jacobo or Jacobea, whatever. <laughs> One of these pumps there. This one's a 45 liter a minute pump. Um, they're supposed to be really really quiet but I'll be honest with you the Halea ones are a lot quieter than that that one's got like a constant buzz on it but hey ho it works oh so yeah that's all good Um what else any other changes nope can't think of any other changes so some the jobs that I've got to do um, as, I, as I've already said, I've got to put the bigger pump on there. I'm going to, on this door, um, she sit, sits out a bit proud at the top, you can see. Unfortunately, that's cheap B&Q wood. Um, get that problem with a lot of their wood. I've already got a little lock on the bottom there. So what I'm gonna do is put a little lock up the top there to pull this in. And then uh, it should all fit properly. So, as I say, this is just about 12, 12 hours, 14 hours worth of dirt in there. And I'm impressed. I really am impressed with the amount it's pulling out. I think that's going to do me proud. So I've got room there for, for the second one when I build it. Um, which I probably won't video, I'll just do it 
and, and get that done. Once you've seen them built once, you don't need to see them again. So yeah, I'll probably do that. Um, final thing is I'm going to give it a clean. So I'll, I'll get this set up and show you the process I've got to use. I might have cocked this up because um, I'm still trying to get used to it myself. So yeah, back in a second. Okay, right, I've just sort of jerry-rigged this up uh, so that you can see the cleaning process. Um, you're not going to see it very well because, as I say, this this air pump's just not up to it. So what I've done, uh, I've got a scrap piece of hose, which I've just laid across here. Um, and it's going into this um, box here. And what I've done is I've set up my other camera so you can see the dirt coming out of there. Hopefully uh, we should get some dirt coming out of there. Right, so first thing I've got to do is shut the pump off. That's the pump off. Now we shut the valve at the top. You can see that? Yep, yeah, I'll shut that one. Now we lower the water level. about there we open this valve like so I do say that a lot like so now plug the pump in and open this valve Ugh. Didn't lower the water far enough. As I say, I'm getting used to this as well, so uh, let's just lower the water a little bit more. And open that one. As you can see, it's just not moving the media. It's not vigorous enough, and there's there's too much media in there. But if I shut the pump off for a moment, well that helps if you actually turn it on. Still not enough though, should be turning it over quite a lot, and it isn't. We'll have to lower this pipe a little bit, otherwise it's not going to uh, empty. What I'll do is I'll let that boil for a few minutes. Um, See whether it actually does start to move further up. I don't think it's gonna, the pump just ain't good enough. So all this, all this media up here is gonna stay dirty until I can get the better pump. Or I take some out. It's probably gonna take a bit of both actually. I'm probably gonna have to take some out and get a better pump. You can see the, the dirt in there at the moment, look, look at that, and that's only 
It's only, as I say, 12, 14 hours dirt. So yeah, it's doing a really good job. All I've got to do is put some finesse onto it so it cleans out properly. Right, I'll give you that a few minutes, be back. Right, that's been uh, bubbling away for about 10 minutes. And you can see we've, we've got nearly about six inches from the top um, and it, it might be that once this ma media matures that it would all move in there but I still think there's too much media in there you can see there's still a lot sitting up here still a lot of dirt it hasn't moved so yeah it's not um, not ideal so right as that's been boiling for a while we'll now open the valve at the bottom here and allow the water to drain and that drained very very quickly right but don't turn the pump the valve off until the water is out otherwise you'll have water coming back through so turn that off turn my pump off like so Again said like so, <laughs> be my catchphrase so. And I'm gonna, gonna shut the valve at the bottom and I'm gonna fill the water up again. So I turn the pump on. I only wanna fill it up partly. You can see the water coming up. Uh, I'm going to shut it off again and I'm going to bubble it again Let's have a look, see what we've got coming up. You can see there's quite a lot of dirt, which is quite impressive, as I say. It's only been running for uh, 12 to 14 hours, maybe 15 hours now. So it's not even a full 24 hour day, and it's pulled that amount out. So leave it bubbling for another couple of minutes um, and I'll get rid of that water and uh, see what it brings out on the second one so I'll be back in a second right so I've got rid of the dirty water that we've just emptied and we're just boiling this for the second time Let's pull the valve. So we you see it's still not cleaning the top of the media. So it, it's definitely not right at the moment. And so it's probably too much media. Because it, it's about there, the level of the media. The rest of this is what's stuck up around the sides. So I've probably got the tube two thirds full. That's probably too much. Probably only needs to be half. So shut the air off. Close my valve. <laughs> I did that yesterday and forgot to close the valve and just pump the water straight through. Not good. Turn my pump back on. Oh. You see the water coming up. Once we get up near to this, we need to shut this off. So, there. And then reopen the valve at the top.
Yeah, we've still got quite a lot of dirt in there. That might be the mesh that I've used on the um, the grill at the bottom. I might need to rethink that, put a, a bigger mesh on. So what did we get out of it on the second go? Yeah, still quite a bit. Yeah, still quite a bit. Okay, let's get rid of that. Ooh. Right, I'm going to drain this one last time, and then I'll take this, take it apart, and uh, remove some of this media. So we'll, we'll drain it off one last time. So I'm going to shut the pump off. So that's the pump off. You can see, although you've got the dirt falling down, none of the water is going out. So the the one-way valve that I've got on there, and the non-return valve that I've got on the um, the feed line, works a treat. So it saves, saves having another valve on there, another uh, gate valve thing. So that's shut down. So we've turned that one off. Pull the bottom valve to let the water come down. Not enough yet. I need to open the valve a little bit. And there she comes. So about there. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do this time, I'm not going to have the pump on, I'm just going to leave the air there like so. And you'll see the difference with the way the, me the media moves. So, valve is still open. So as soon as we allow air in, it will start emptying. So we just turn this and see which way to turn it that way. See how more violent that is. Okay, that's empty, right, I'll get on with this and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I've taken it apart and I've taken that much media out. So not a lot, but enough. And the result, as you can see, we've got a nice little boil going. And that's still with the 35 litre pump. So pretty good. Still got me leak. Um, that's gonna, it's gonna be one of those that's a pain in the butt to solve. Um, I'll leave it for a little while, see if it seals itself. It might, because it isn't a matted leak. It's just enough to be annoying. Um, so yeah, all good. I'm gonna leave it running. Um, well, I'll finish this boil, empty it out and then I'll leave the filter running for a few days and we'll see what happens. So yeah, looking good. Very pleased. Well, that concludes the videos on the upflow filter. Um, I'm going to run it for a while and I'll give you an update once I've been running it for a few weeks. Just, just to let you know how well I'm getting on with it. But it's all looking good. I'm uh, quite pleased with it at the moment. So... Until next time, catch you later.